been an A. A moment to chat with me. So in my head, it the conference organizers were just getting set up, but once they installed their uh, custom uh, sign that they had shipped in, uh, the host took a moment to chat with me. So in my head, it's always been Berenstein Bears. I learned to read on those books. I was as sure as my next breath that it was an E. Turns out it's never been an E, it's always been an A. And that bothers me a lot. That was my first one I ever found. And I couldn't let it go. When you know what you know, you can't deny your memory. Everyone started to file in and sample free veggies and dip. The guy from the supermarket showed up too. There was a lot of literature there and uh, custom apparel and decals. People were having very animated discussions about their different theories. Like, I was just hearing that somebody remembered having a dog, and then their mother's like, no, we never had a dog. We were a cat family. Never. And she has all these memories of this dog. You know, where did they come This happens a lot. Yeah. All the presenters talked about some of the most well-known uh, Mandela effects. Minds were being absolutely obliterated with all of this forbidden knowledge. Now, when you look at this picture, do you see a Mandela effect? Yes. Yeah. 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 The stripes. Those were never there before. Not, not that I remember. But the more I talked with people, uh, the more I realized that they didn't think of this as a memory problem at all. What do I think the Mandela effect is? Um, I would say it's a timeline shift, you know, um, um, proof of the multiverse, you know, different timelines. It's like evidential existence of parallel timelines. Everyone there, no matter their individual experience, was on the same page about this. So the Mandela effect is the consequence of jumping timelines while holding memories of the previous timeline. In their minds, their memories were perfect, and they were the chosen few who could remember details from alternate dimensions that they once inhabited. And I remember Benicio del Toro. He died around 2001. I think both of them are still alive right now, I hope. And I'm not sure what that's about, but that's interesting. They were using the most complicated scientific theories possible to explain what most people would consider uh, everyday forgetfulness. Personally, I think I've, I've done this. Literally, I have a pen that I like to write with. I, I put it down. I stood up, turned around, and went, oh, I want the pen, I, and it was gone. It was not there. And I just looked on the floor, looked at the table, nothing. Three days later, I'm sitting at the computer like this with the pen, and I have no idea where it came from. Um, so. I purchased his book to learn more about his uh, quantum timeline theory, and I took it back to my room which was conveniently on the other side of the wall from the convention space. There wasn't a lot of uh, science in there, but in the first 30 pages, the author claims to have invented Pokemon and met Mark Twain in a hot tub. This didn't explain much, and I was hoping to get more of an explanation when the Q&A began. I don't understand the internet. Like, where do we hold all of the information in the internet? Are crystals or what's holding the information? It's usually um, some kind of like um, hard drive technology. Hard, what are so, those made of? What's that? What are they made of? Uh, yeah, I think ultimate. Yeah, ultimately, so, so silicon. Yeah. 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 There are crystals. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. The conference was almost over, uh, but before leaving, I decided to spend some time with the organizer, Jerry. He wanted to show me the town's uh, other uh, Best Western, where he worked as a night manager and uh, actually lived there, too. According to science, we're in the Orion arm of the Milky Way. Generally speaking, the dash was always in the middle of the Coca-Cola logo. The company Costco lost their teeth. Another strange thing about the flip-flops is all evidence of the flip